Welcome back to Let's Play Run La Da Da Um Evolution Worlds. We're uh, I'm Channel Over 19 and this is Fluffy. Where we last us off, we were about to talk with the 8th Imperial Investigation Team. They called you Sir Mag Launcher! And by the way, that guy over there, the green guy with the glasses and the sword, he scares me. I don't know why, I just feel... Okay, stop that. Stop. That one. Lobby! <laughs> the one you're about to see in the, you know, kind of orange oh. hair. Look at his eyes! It doesn't look friendly. And I am Supreme Commander of the Eighth Imperial Army, Admiral in charge of the Western Regional Forces. Well done. Good for you. The side frame of Alusha has always been a mystery. Anyone who knows anything about archaeology, or an adventurer for that matter, would have heard of it. Eh. Well, I know one thing. I wouldn't want that. Evolution, I mean. Yeah, um, and once you see that guy, run away! I actually completed the first portion of this game. And I know who Evolution is. Who? I'm not telling. I don't want to spoil it. Actually, we have been taking the Imperial ruins for the last few years, and our knowledge has advanced rapidly. Good for you. Who cares? News? God, this is boring. Um, here, uh, you, Fluffy, go on with the sword. I'll be back in a moment. Hi, I'm gonna be doing the rest of this. Okay, back. The phone was ringing for some reason. Okay. What are you talking about? Evolution? I, um... I know what, who, what, or, and who Evolution is, but other than that, no. Evolution's oh, girl. What? No! Wow! I don't see. I don't like that guy. He doesn't sound friendly. He sounds like one of those rich people with, you know, rotten. Where's money. Well going here? I 
thought there might be something interesting because it was the army. But when we were done talking, they just told us to get out. Talk about rude. That Eugene guy is really weird. Gives me the creeps. So does he. He does to me too, Mag. He doesn't need to boast so much. Right? Yeah. Like rich people do. More cutscenes! That doesn't look nice. That guy. Okay, you see how she created energy by per by uh, perking up that flower? Yeah. Just a thought. Oh, so that's why the flowers around the house are in bloom all year round. Hey, wait a minute. No one ever told me that Linear had that kind of talent. You didn't know? Well, of course you didn't know, Mag. That's because Lydia tended the flowers early in the morning, when you were still sound asleep. The flowers that bloomed anew bloomed for more than a year. I haven't seen such amazing powers in a long time. Yay. Way to go, Linear. Tell me how she does it. Come on, please. When kind-hearted Lydia sees a living thing in pain or distress, she must feel that pain herself. Perhaps God prolongs the flower's life so that Lydia won't be saddened by its withering. That's my interpretation. Uh, but perhaps I am a tad too romantic. Ah. Yeah, maybe a little. <laughs> but still, it's great that Lydia has that kind of talent. Ah, that tilt is kind of, um, kind of funny. Like, what? Oh, come on! More dang cutsy! Um, why isn't that guy moving his mouth at all? Wonderful. Now tell me. Is I don't know. I 
knew that little brat was hiding something. Seems a little spying is in order. I wonder what we will find. Listen, send a message to the homeland requesting official deployment of the fourth fleet. Now on standby. Oh my god. <sighs> we'll have to cut it off.